to understand cryptocurrency, you first need to understand what is money. Pesa kya hai? Money means value. Money is how we transfer value. In today's age, you are paid in money, but throughout history, currency has had different faces. For example, there was a time when the thing of value was a bag of rice, nickel, copper, and after some time, the piece of value was gold. As humans, we have given worth to different things at different times that has become the currency of the time. I wish I was paid in biryani for my work at Connect here. You just can't survive on biryani. How would you buy clothes or pay for Netflix? You need money. If you want to be paid in biryani, then biryani must have some value. How can biryani be valuable? For biryani to be valuable, it must have several characteristics, such as the following. Enough people must have it. Merchants must accept it as a form of payment. And society must trust that it is valuable and that it will remain valuable in the future. Now, back to the lecture. Of course, in the old days, when you traded your chicken for shoes, the values of the exchange materials were inherent to their nature. But when coins, cash, and credit cards came into play, the definition of money and, more importantly, the trust model of money changed. As the world grew bigger, it was difficult to find one uniform currency for everyone. Governments of different countries started printing their own notes and promised the people that these notes are valuable. Because we trust the government. It is the government's responsibility to make sure that this continues to be valuable. Why can't we just print more notes? If we print more money, 
it will just lose its value. This is why the government doesn't print as many notes as they want. Money has a central authority that controls the supply and circulation. Which means that as long as the government is stable, people and society trust the currency. Since the supply of money is in the government's hands, the government can print as much money as they can. The value of each note goes down the more notes that are printed. So the ideal scenario is a currency that is limited which means that you can't print as much as you can and decentralized which means that one authority does not control all the currency to solve both of these problems, we have cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency only exists on computers. There are no coins and no notes. There are no reserves for crypto. It only exists in digital space. Cryptocurrencies don't have a central computer or server. They are distributed across a network of typically thousands of computers. Networks without a central server are called decentralized networks. Users don't deal with each other through banks, PayPal, or Facebook. They deal with each other directly through platforms like Binance or Robinhood. There are no trusted third parties in cryptocurrency. They are called trusted third parties because users have to trust them with their personal information in order to use their services. For example, we trust the bank with our money and we trust Facebook with our holiday photos. This means that you don't have to give any personal information to own and use cryptocurrency. There are no rules about who can own or use cryptocurrencies and no third parties means that users don't have to trust the system for it to work. Users are in complete control of their money and information at all times. Each user has special codes that stop their information from being accessed by other users. This is called cryptography and it is nearly impossible to hack.
it is also where the crypto part of the crypto definition comes from. Crypto means hidden. When information is hidden with cryptography, it is encrypted. Sending currencies around the world is difficult. Cryptocurrencies can be sent all over the world easily. Cryptocurrencies are currencies without borders. Some of the most famous cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin, And Ethereum. Now you know Bitcoin is a name of a cryptocurrency, it is not something on its own. How can we buy cryptocurrency? For that, you will have to wait for our next video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye!